Hey everyone, Sarian here. Welcome back to Space for the Unbound. So in our last episode, first and foremost, we're trying to find Raya because things seem to be just getting freakier as her powers go haywire. Uh, one of the townsfolk, Madame Puspa, went absolutely nuts and set fire to her own house. And I'm like 99% sure it's from Raya's powers. Anyway, we've got to restore the Madame back to her regular old self. Emphasis on old. Let's continue. So, we got a flower and a trophy as clues to uh, the madam's regular life. And, uh, we have one more clue to find, it seems. Do you like cats? Like them? I love them! Even the mean ones that hiss and scratch you? Listen, cats are a living, breathing lesson in consent. They are burdened with the human concept of politeness. So if they're uncomfortable, they'll let you know about it. They don't have an obligation to let us pet them, you know. You have to earn their trust. That's a very profound observation. What can I do to earn the trust of a cat that's particularly spicy? <laughs> Put them at ease with a special herb. All cats like catnip. Here, I'll give you some. Tell me how it goes. Ah, yes, I got catnip. Okay, maybe we have to go around to get to the field. Something seems familiar. Let's see if I can tear these off. It looks like... Is that the Botanical Society? The flower logo. Yayasan Bunga's hit up, uh, hit up's emblem. It seems like Madame Puspa has a certain connection to it. Huh. Pizzi Bunga API Co. That's the company that Madame Puspa mentioned, isn't it? I need to get to the bottom of this. Can't tear this one off. The glue must be super strong about the wonders of the internet and how it can be used to look up anything you want. I don't have any other leads, so I guess I should go to the internet cafe and search for some information. Maybe some other things. Alright. Well, that's a good clue. It's always good to look up stuff on the internet first. Right, now we gotta get to the net cafe. Aha. But mom, the billing meter is still running. I don't care. I told you to come home immediately after school. While you live under my roof, you have to help me with the chores. Ugh. <laughs> yes, I can use that computer. Hell yeah! Free internet. A school. <laughs> uh, okay. I've never used the internet before. What should I do? Look up Madame Paspa. Click on cat pics. Click on suspicious pictures. <laughs> um, let's look at the cat pics first. Cute cat's party. Aw, it's a, it's a gif of a cute kitten, fuzzy baby. It's still loading. Anyway, I should start something else. <gasps> Whoa! Uh, what, what is this? Sh should I click that button? Ah! Did, did I break it? Oh, it's just restarting. Phew! Alright. Uh, let's look for the company, PT Bunga API. Found it. This is an article from a few years ago. Firework factory catches fire, kills 20 plus. Several explosions have occurred at a fireworks factory belonging to PT Bunga API Co. 
At least 20 have been confirmed dead, with dozens more injured, authorities announced on Monday. The cause of the blast is still unknown. Owner Ratna Paswadui remains unavailable to the press weeks after the event. PT Bunga API Co. has declared bankruptcy following the incident. However, Madam Paswa plans to continue the use to use the district Aska flower logo of the PT Bunga API Co. The logo will be reused for the owner's botanical club CSR Yayasan Bunga Hit Up. <laughs> Pictured the company sign outside the devastated factory. This is it. The sign indicated the location of the burnt down PT uh, Bunga API Co. I got the evidence. Let's see what what tea we have on Madame Puspa. Four four page not found. Weird. I'm not trying to go to puspa.com. Uh, now I just have to click print, right? Internet diver. <laughs> Whoever just printed something's ready to collect. Yay! Uh, this is your printout, right? The price is included in the billing. Huh? The bill's already been paid. Uh, you're not the kid that booked the computer. Uh, whatever. Just take the printout. It's not like I'm losing money. Yay! Okay. This article will be useful as evidence. I think I have enough evidence for the court. I should show this to Lulu. Nice. Oh, madam. Crazy as always. Your Highness, I have all the evidence in my hand. Very good. Are you ready to proceed with the trial? Uh, yes, Your Highness. Don't got anything else to do. Defendant, please repeat your testimony. I'm the real Madame Puspa, the one who loves to set things on fire. Uh, let's see, let's think of the evidence we have. We have the trophy, we have the flowers, and we have the... the article about the fire. Ah, uh, the picture of the thing most beloved to me in the world. Objection! Take a look at this evidence. Uh... Uh... Was that it? Oh no! What? <laughs> I could be... I could be killed just for showing the wrong evidence? Okay, well... I thought we were gonna, like, object, because that's not her favorite thing. Like, I thought she was, like, saying that her favorite thing was, like, fireworks. When you said that this picture showed your greatest treasure, you were right. You might actually be right, madam. <laughs> well, thank you. I thought your job here was to prove me wrong, Spikey. Spy- <laughs> I have the object depicted in that image here with me, your highness. Prosecution, please tell me you didn't bring explosives into this courtroom. No, no, of course not. The defendant was lying about this being a picture of fireworks. That blurry image is actually a picture of this. A flower. <laughs> defendant, the court demands that you show us the photo again. Clearly not fireworks. You're right. They do look very alike. Interesting. The true Madame Paspa isn't infatuated with deafening fireworks. But delicate Asuka flowers blooming in a tranquil garden. That's right. <laughs> Defendant, do you have anything to say about this? This, uh, this flower, 
Asuka flower. It seems like our defendant has been rendered speechless. I have other evidence, your highness. Very well, please present it. The firework master. Just the beginning of a firework show hosted by... Hmm... Probably this one, and we show the article. Objection! You just testified that the PT Bunga API Co. is behind the arson. Yes, through me. I gave the order as head of the company. But that's impossible. Your Highness, take a look at this printed article. Hmm. What am I reading? This is a piece of news from a few years ago, where a massive fire destroyed a fireworks factory. Yes, and? Uh, that factory was owned by PT Bunga API Co. And the article clearly stated that after the fire, the company ceased to exist. PT Bunga API Co. doesn't exist in any capacity. It hasn't for years. Uh, I see. You don't represent that company, madam. Nobody does. Do you mind revising your statement? Explain yourself to the court. Uh, fine. You're right. PT Bunga API Co. did indeed burn down. But I didn't burn down the community center for the company. I did it as revenge. This city has never appreciated me. That's why. Only I know the true beauty of fireworks. My hands alone can craft them to perfection. I have other evidence, your highness. Uh, it didn't burn down the community center for the company. The city would not appreciate me for what I did. Hmm. The only thing we have left is the trophy. So which one of these... It's gotta be this one. Madam Paspa. Please don't be too hard on yourself. Lu I, I mean, the queen is right. Do you remember this? That's... Where did you obtain that? I've located the man who broke it. He wanted me to tell you that. He's sorry. That he and the rest of the club members looked up to you so much. Prosecution? So, this trophy... Yes, this trophy was awarded to Yayasan Bunga Hida, a flower club that took on the logo of PT Bunga API Co. after it went bankrupt and ceased trading. I see. I recognize it, yes. The real Madame Puspa is the chairperson of said club. She led it to such success that they gave her this trophy. You are known and beloved as the, bot as the botanist that bought Yayasan Bunga Hida to glory. Brought. Ugh. Ugh. Do you remember this trophy, Defendant? Uh, this trophy... You certainly seem to. The evidence that has been presented points to only one truth. Madame Paswa, you aren't a crazed pyromaniac with a less for burning down buildings. You don't even like fireworks. You love flowers, creating new life. You're an artistic botanist that likes nothing more than savoring the tranquility of gardening with your clubmates. The person that led Yayasang Banga Hidab to glory was none other than yourself, Madam Paspa. Gah. Good work. We'll restore our true identity in no time. Or rather, you will, Prosecution. We're counting on you. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
Time for another nested space dive. What the hell's with this fire? No, it's no use. That voice, is that Madame Puspa? Where did it come from? Something's floating in the water inside the well, but it's too deep to reach. Huh, some kind of pipe schematic diagram. What is this? Oh, we're gonna need this. <laughs> we're gonna need to use this for some kind of puzzle. Pipes and valves, sprinklers. This pipeline is a total labyrinth. And is this a valve? It seems like I have to find it to turn the water on. Uh, okay. This picture suggests that the water flow leads to these four pipes above. I have to figure out which pipe to let the water into. Okay. Oh, I see. So if we want to turn on Sprinkler C... sure how this works. Yay! Okay. That works. Alright, we gotta get to the madam, but we gotta turn on sprinkler A. So we need to turn the valves one, three, five. <laughs> And seven. But we only have two valves. Uh, mm. Yeah. Three, five, and seven. Well, I think we can turn on a sprinkler to get whatever's in the well. So sprinkler B. We need to turn on two. Mm. Two and eleven. Okay, it seems like there's like multiple paths. How the hell did it get there? What am I gonna do with the key? Oh. Yes, another valve handle might be handy. Okay, so we have three valves. And we gotta turn on sprinkler A. So let's find a path from A to three, definitely. Eight and ten is one path. Let's try that. This is the right valve configuration. <sighs> the flowers. 
they're so vibrant. Huh. This feeling, I, I thought it was suffocating, but maybe it's actually joy. I'd completely forgotten how exhilarating it can be to raise something so beautiful. Raya, isn't it? Here are the flowers for the festival. Thank you for choosing us for such a big order. The pleasure is mine, ma'am, but I still need something else. Oh, uh, what is it? Do you want more camellia? Or maybe aster? They're cheaper this season. No, not that. I'm afraid I have to ask you to make a firework, ma'am. I can't find any other crafters. R Raya, y you know I can't. I know, but the thought... I thought maybe if I ha- No, dear, I'm sorry. But... Please, don't ask me again. You're being disrespectful. No means no, missy. You have to respect older people, kid. <sighs> I guess what Lucy said about you was true. Lucy? Oh, right. Her classmates called her Lulu. No, not this again. I don't want to hear it. You're the Raya from her class who didn't have any friends, right? They said, you're kind of a reserved girl. Why do people keep saying things I want to forget? You can't live like that, my dear. No wonder you can't convince fireworks suppliers to get what you need. I bet Lucy could do it easily. Oh, God. <laughs> Please stop comparing me with Lulu. Oh, I know. It must be so hard for you to be committee president, right? How about you ask Lucy for help? She's always reliable on things like this. You think I'm not reliable? Why are things like this? Even here I can't make the world the way I want it. I just have to go that other place for the fireworks. I don't need her. Right away. She was being kind of mean. They're gone. <sighs> Just like Miss Mister Gung. What now? A flower. It looks like a lily, but it has a double bloom. It has a tag on it. Dearest Miss Lucy. Lucy. Finally calm down, are you, madam? Well, that's a relief. Somebody get her a glass of water, will you? Madam, have you come to your senses? Yes. I'm sorry for causing a scene. I don't know what came over me. Thanks for your help, kids. Uh, Madam Puspud, what's the last thing you remember before all this? There was this girl, short, dark hair, wearing a school uniform like yours. Raya? Yes, that's her name, Raya. She asked me to make her some fireworks. I told her I'm no longer in that business. My skills are rusty, and I don't have ex access to the ingredients anymore. Hmm. That's exactly what I, I like what I saw in the space dive. She seemed annoyed when I told her. Said something about going to an uncle. Uh, uncle buddy, maybe? I, I don't remember anything after that. Uncle buddy? That's Eric's father. Why would Raya go to Eric's father? He owns the general store, remember? Maybe she was hoping that he would have some for sale. Speaking of Eric, he hasn't been going to school, has he? Crap. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess he's just skipping school like normal, right? You really don't know Eric very well, do you, Atma? He's not going anywhere without his gang. 
and last time I checked, they're all at school doing the prep for Lintang Fest. And hey, don't you think that's pretty weird too? Since when did they care about anything school related? Anyhow, Madam Puspa, I'm so glad you're okay. Huh? Uh, uh, thanks, kid. For a minute there, I thought we'd have to hospitalize you or something. Maybe I can check in on you in a couple of days? I still owe you so much from before. I'm sorry. Have we met? You... You don't remember me? It's me, Lucy. Uh, no. I mean, you seem like a sweet kid, so I feel rude saying this, but... We've never met. <clears throat> Lulu? Never mind. My apologies, madam. I think she needs rest. I'll help her home. Thank you. <sighs> Again with Raya, it must be her. I always knew she was a freak. It was only a matter of time before she did something like this. Uh, Lulu, you shouldn't call her a freak. Don't judge other people so harshly. Come on, Adma. I know you're her boyfriend, but why do you keep defending her? The Raya I know is always kind to others. I have no idea why she lost control, but something is very wrong. We should find her and hear her out first. You still trust her? Even after all this? I don't know if that's adorable or pathetic. All I'm asking is that you give her a chance to explain. I want to give her a chance, but what she did to Madame Puspa is unforgivable. That poor woman. You seem to care about Madame quite a bit. I do. She used to call me Lucy, because I reminded me, uh, I reminded her of this oriental lily flower she had, but she just forgot me. Huh. What a coincidence. I found a lily flower earlier. Yeah, a lily just like that. Yeah. What is this? Why are you giving me a flower? Well, you just... No time for that. Let's go to the general store. Hmm. Alright, no time to lose. Alright, I think we'll leave it here for now. In the next episode, we're gonna trace down where Raya went next. And, uh... Either we're gonna find her, or, uh try to fix her trail of destruction. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to take care of yourself today, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.